The trends we're seeing in EVs are really exciting given how many car manufacturers are going to be producing more EVs in the future, but it also creates a potential challenge off in the distance, which is what happens to all those EV battery packs when they reach their end of life? And the UCSD project from Open 2018 is taking that challenge and they're turning into an opportunity, which is to leverage and use those EV packs for second life applications for stationary storage. It's, it's really exciting to see an RPE project go from a proposal that you read and an idea saying, okay, this is an interesting idea, to a successful project, but then to a company. Uh, so what the UCSD team is, they, sp they spun out a company called Smartville, and they've raised funding from the California Energy Commission and several other sources. And this is something that's not just, you know, going to be academic papers. This is something that they want to start building systems and, you know, building multiple sites where they can condition and sell these things and start selling them to great applications pretty soon. So it's just really exciting to see how quickly the innovation in the lab is starting to make its way to the market. Smartville is creating a unique dual purpose infrastructure. It's a battery repurposing platform and an energy storage plant at the same time. Through specialized power conversion, control, and data intelligence, the facility will improve youth battery performance and extend useful life by simply operating the battery in a distributed fashion, re-establish uniformity, and reduce performance uncertainty. As a result, producing certifiable and reliable energy storage products. At the same time, the facility can provide a greater connected, large-scale energy storage capacity. The integrated solution incentivizes battery with greater health to work harder, bringing the entire system within balance and overall uniformity. Maintaining battery uniformity is a key for all battery energy storage systems, even with new ones. Enforcing used batteries are even harder. But the Smartville is showing a pathway to achieve that. Not too long ago, the batteries within these enclosures were powering electric cars. And we have batteries from three different vehicle models and from 12 separate cars, all operating as a single, reliable energy storage system. Smartville's goal is to have commercially available units just like these within 18 months. In three years, we hope to have a scaled facility that's both processing batteries and manufacturing product. And within 10 years, we hope to have multiple large-scale facilities operating across the nation. The next challenge for Smartville is aggregating our key components in a single building block design compatible with the majority of EV makes and models. And so far, we have been successful at prototyping and are currently iterating our modular assembly battery units, or MOEX. It reduces a lot of challenges around recycling and sustainability concerns and you know, end-of-life concerns for lithium-ion. There's, there's a lot of concerns about that from a, from a sustainability point of view, and there's also concerns about that from just a sourcing point of view. What are lithium supply chains going to look like in a few years? What are nickel and cobalt supply chains going to look like? There are significant concerns, and so if we can extend the life of these systems, it really alleviates a lot of those problems. Lithium batteries can live forever. What I mean by that is the core materials in lithium batteries don't degrade or get used up. They can be recycled and reused in a virtually endless circular economy of production. Smartville wants to play a key role in that vision, and we think we have the technology to do it.